This is Gary Atensa with CNTV, and today we're in North Carolina and Virginia. I am here with Ignite the Spark. In 2024, this collaboration of the Hope Institute, We Care Partnerships Network, and many others will break the silence and eradicate suicide. I am joined here with the President Richard and founder Cheyenne. Both of you, thanks so much for joining us here today. Thank you. Thanks for having us. I'm going to start off, first of all, Richard, you are the president of the Hope Institute. Share with us how your life of really serving others began for you. Yeah, so uh, back in 2013, I received what I call an epiphany um, after many years of meditation and uh, self, self-discovery. I received a message, hope, and within that message were four words honesty, omnipotence, pure love, and essence. And from that point, I wrote a book called Hope Your Essence Navigation System and started helping people to understand what that was about, how to get to that point in your life. And then I quickly realized that we needed to be able to set up some kind of project or some kind of method, some venue to be able to give people the opportunity to experience these things without having to pay because a lot of the people that we work with are uh, sometimes cash strapped and that kind of thing and can't afford to pay. So I established the Hope Institute 501c3 nonprofit in 2017. And that's where we're at right now. I'm working with Shay and, and on the uh, Spark. That's project. excellent. Great story. Cheyenne is a founder, podcaster, and author. I mean, you have been equipping others to lead the change they want to see in their community. How did this passion kind of begin for you? Oh my goodness. There's, there's so many places uh, in my life that have contributed. Um, Probably the most recent one was uh, when a number of years ago, my husband and I went through a major crash. Um, He was having some health challenges. He had to leave his business. Uh, We ended up losing most of the things people hold dear. And as a result, we kind of came face to face with some of the systems out here in our society. And we got really frustrated as we experienced firsthand how some of them work. And at that point in time, you know, we both had some entrepreneurial background. We said, you know what? It's time for us to start creating new systems. We love uh, we love Buckminster Fuller's quote says, can't fight change. You got to create new systems that make the old ones obsolete. That's what we're about. (laughs) Great. Excellent. Richard, it has been called a silent epidemic. I mean, suicide is a major national public health issue here in the U.S. We have one of the highest suicide rates among wealthy nations. I mean, is there simply still not enough dialogue around this topic, would you say? Yes, I would agree with that. The silence is deafening. Uh, My dad was successful with suicide when I was 14. And back in those days, you did not talk about it. And it and it really basically destroyed my childhood. And I didn't have a a male figure in my life. So, yes, the the dialogue has been less than it needs to be to be able to help people get through this. Excellent. Cheyenne, the annual U.S. suicide rate continues to increase. What can society do to change the trajectory of this growing epidemic? And is that really what Ignite the Spark really hopes to do? Absolutely. Uh, we, we're looking, we understand that our mental health professionals are working extremely hard and we're really looking to be kind of an adjunct to what they're doing, almost like a wraparound with what they've got going on. Uh, because there's so many things that people just aren't considering. I mean, we know that cyber bullying is a thing and it is impacting our youth. We know that, you know, some of the, the things that are happening on the internet in general are not good. We know that there's a lot of different kinds of treatments and therapies out there that are not necessarily covered by people's medical insurance. So they become kind of hidden and people don't even know what they don't know in terms about things that can help. And then again, as you mentioned earlier, just getting the the conversation going and bringing like-minded people together who want to create new healing communities, because that's another piece of what the Hope Institute is all about. And so we're we're looking to bring people together, get them out of their silos, and let's start to connect, collaborate, and create new solutions. 
Excellent. I mean, speaking of collaboration, Richard, Ignite the Spark is actually a collaboration of multiple different organizations. Why was it important for the Hope Institute to be involved in this? The Hope Institute is all about assisting people in need. That's what the charity was set up to do. And particularly with this Spark event, uh, the suicide prevention is something that we all need to address. We need to step up now, save our kids, save a lot of different demographics of people who are doing the suicide. And uh, that fits perfectly within our mission and, and merging uh, our ecosystems together with other organizations to help get where we need to be. We've got veteran organization. We've got a homeless uh, organization working with us and um, several others. We've got uh, environment, uh, the Envision Speaker Series, which is a talk talk podcast that, that highlights suicide. Um, and so we've got, we've got quite a team going right now with our integrations to make this thing happen in our connect, collaborate, create. So from the homeless to our veterans to like you say, even our own kids, we have to bring up this awareness. Mm -hmm. Cheyenne is the founder of We Care Partnerships Network. You have members who are actively creating solutions in our community. Was Ignite the Spark a good fit, would you say for that reason? Absolutely. Um, when we started We Care Partnerships a number of years ago, it was largely because we had met so many creative entrepreneurs and small business owners. We feel that small business owners are some of the most creative problem solvers there are. And so bringing together people, small business owners into teams to you know, mastermind new solutions, I think is an important piece of what our society needs more of. I mean, Richard, for you, as you have shared, this is a personal mission to help others as you have experienced suicide firsthand. Tell us how this is, has really hit home for you and probably for many other people out there um, that have experienced this same kind of tragedy that you have. The need for the voice, the need to be able to provide a venue for people like myself who experienced this, this loss of someone close to me through suicide is absolutely crucial. The There is no other venue that I know of that, says, that would be as beneficial as having open dialogue access and, and addressing the societal issues causing suicide. Um, we just we have to do it. We have to realign our, our mind, body, and spirit, uh, rejuvenate that, and we have to have kindness for all. That's, that's what the SPARC acronym is. And uh, from a personal perspective, if I had had the kind of support that we're bringing to the table when, when I was going through this, I doubt that I would have had the same issues that I did. Absolutely. Especially at a young age, as a teenager, but also for anyone who goes through this. Cheyenne, your focus has always been on people, really is the heart and soul of any business. Does this human-centric approach really help not only develop the human potential of the individual but even of the organizations, would you say? Oh, my goodness, yes. I, I'm hugely about helping more people to realize and actualize their human potential. Because, you know, for me, it goes all the way back to high school. Uh, when I was doing a valedictory speech, I was talking about following your heart. Because there were so many people who were just running off to do things that, uh, you know, chasing where the greatest amount of money might be without stopping to think about, you know, where where's your heart in all of this? So, yeah, we have the potential to be able to develop a lot of individuals, a lot of organizations, and ultimately to help heal communities. That's what we really want to see. That is excellent. Richard, your focus is to inspire others to overcome find their essence, and build their brand with honesty, omnipotence, and pure love. Is Ignite the Spark really yet just another way to take that journey of hope for you? Oh, absolutely. The Spark journey is perfect for what the hope message is. People need to be able to honestly assess where it is that they're at, where they find themselves. They have to be able to reconnect with their omnipotent power granted them in their design. They need to be able to love purely with themselves and others, and forgiveness is part of that. And then they need to really work toward finding their essence, which is which is our life's blood. We were granted an essence 
when we were created to do a purpose when we came here. And uh, that's what we do. That's what we help people to do. And this spark event, we're going to, we're going to really, really focus on hope. Great mission for all of these organizations that are taking part in this. Cheyenne, Ignite the Spark will launch now in 2024 with a benefit concert. Tell us with who and what will take place and how folks can get tickets. Absolutely. Uh, we're starting up uh, August 9th uh, at, with a concert by a young man named Chris Hendricks. And Chris is an amazing story all into himself. Uh, he, he was diagnosed very early in life with cerebral palsy. He was bullied growing up. And he has a mission to be able to go out here and provide music that's uplifting, help people understand their self-worth. And um, it's going to be amazing. So yeah, we do have a hub website where all of our spark activities are listed and it's ignite the spark.co people can register for the concert as well as the events that follow in september that is great viewers let's take a look at the bottom of the screen right there what you're going to see is their website for ignite the spark you will learn from speakers who have real world experience i mean you can visit wellness practitioners who will provide new tools in body mind and spirit I mean, together, we can build the energy towards new solutions. Once again, that is Ignite the Spark, Break the Silence, and Eradicate Suicide. This is Gary Atensu with CNTV, and if you don't know, now you know. <laughs>